During the last 12 months, all of the top three German thrash bands have released box sets. So that's been Creator with Under the Guillotine, Destruction with Tales of Morbid Brains, which I have unboxed on this channel. Don't worry, I'll put a link on screen at the end of this one. And now here's Sodom with M16. Admittedly, this is not a collection of albums, as was the case with the Creator and Destruction releases. But what it is, is a really nice limited edition box set for M16, the album that Sodom released back in 2001. So this is the 20th anniversary limited edition box set, and we're going to take a look inside. There are four vinyl records in this set. There's also lots of other stuff in here, including a bullet-shaped USB stick. You've got to have a USB stick these days, haven't you? This sticker is on the actual shrink, so I need to be careful with that. Do you keep stickers on the outside shrink? I know I do. I want to store it inside. And there it goes. It's got a really nice glossy kind of almost laminated uh, finish this box set. That's a nice uh, bit of design on the back there. That's not a sticker, that is literally printed on there, so that's good to know, isn't it? Top comes off of this like an ammunition box, of course. And already you can see there's some nice uh, there's some nice things in here. I can see a Sodom dog tag poking out of the top of this box. Does it have the Sodom logo on it? I would have quite liked that. <laughs> well, it's a bit more subtle than that. It says, listen to Sodom there. Let's put that on. Why not, eh? Not really a dog tag type of guy, if I'm honest, but still. And here's a USB stick shaped like a bullet. Of course it is. What else would it be shaped like, eh? In a Sodom box set, given that Sodom have been obsessed with war since probably, I guess, since uh, Agent Orange, the, the sort of breakthrough album in 1989. Now that has the Sodom logo on it and the title of the album. And let's see, does that unscrew? Yes, it does. And so we'll find a, a USB connection in there. And this has, I guess, all of the music that's in this box set on this one USB stick. Yeah, that's really cool. That's really pleasing. We're gonna have a look at the vinyl now. Oh, and there's a book in here. I forgot to mention there's a book. We'll have a look at the book last. I forgot to put the lights on in the background, by the way. So I'm gonna do that for you now. Which color sums up this album? I think it has to be red, doesn't it? Yeah, that's much more like it. Let's get into the vinyl. We are going straight to the M16 album itself, I think, and I'm seeing some kind of gatefold action here. Yes, yes, wow. That's a great cover, isn't it? It's really probably one of the band's best, I think. Powerful stuff, pretty horrible stuff, much like the Vietnam War itself, eh? And let's open it up. So I believe these are pictures of the band when they actually visited Vietnam a couple of weeks before the album came out. Unless, of course, I don't know, this could have been done in the field just down the road from Tom Angel Ripper's house. I'm not 100% sure, if I'm honest. This is the album track spread across two discs, which is nice. So optimum sound quality there. On the end of the album here, on the fourth disc, there's also a couple of live tracks. Uh, appropriately enough, remember The Fallen and the oldie but goldie Blasphemer. What colour is this vinyl? Shall we see? And in the process, let's, uh, let's appreciate some of the... The pictures, lots of pictures from Vietnam, I'm guessing, and uh, lyrics on the back there. That's rather nice. And oh, yes, the vinyl is. Oh, you're going to like this. It's orange. I do love coloured vinyl. Do you like coloured vinyl? Does coloured vinyl influence your choice of purchase? Let me know down in comments. And of course, I want to hear your thoughts on the M16 album and where you feel it sits in Sodom history. Here's the second record in the, uh, the M16 gatefold there. More lyrics, more pictures from Vietnam, and more lovely orange vinyl. I'm very happy to have this. That's really nice. I would have been happy with this by itself, but, you know, a whole box set. And full disclosure, by the way, thank you to BMG for sending this to me for the purposes of review. Now, there are two other live bootleg records in this box. Yes, the band have definitely gone for the kind of the bootleg type approach with the set list there on the ground. And this is all live, I think, in uh, Germany, Thailand and Japan. Previously unreleased live stuff. And yes, very much sort of like test pressings they've done them as. That's quite nice. Uh, simply Black Vinyl. Live at Varken 2001. Live in Tokyo 2002. And then here's the other bootleg record uh, with another set list on the back there live at bang your head 2003 and then lastly on side four live in bangkok 2002 we've got a couple of treasures yet to see in this box set starting with this poster let me unfurl this poster for you 
Yes, I think that is certainly what we wanted, isn't it? And now the last thing to come out of the box is the book slash booklet. I mean, it's a really high quality booklet, uh, if you could call it a booklet. And it's a collection of never before seen photos and the story of how the M16 album came together and also how the band visited Vietnam. Looks like a nice balance of uh, detail, words and pictures. Yeah, that's that's great. I'm looking forward to, to having a look at this. So as I piece this box back together, it's impossible not to conclude that this is a really well-rounded and nicely put together set, especially for one album. What a great celebration of a, a really notable thrash record. Get down in comments and let me know what you think of this and about the M16 album. Tell me your favorite track on the record and I'd love to have a chat with you. Until I see you down there, metal.